Hi guys, this is Cindy and I am doing a flip through with this, uh, I'm calling it the orange and yellow embroidery um, junk journal. This is a scarf and it's fairly old because the lace definitely, I don't think it's anything you can buy now. So anyway, I just put it on a, like a cracker box and made a journal out of it and it fit fairly well. So anyway, I've got, it's got three signatures and I put some uh, flowers and butterflies on, a butterfly on the signature strings. I closed it with a post and hair tie closure. And um, yeah, let's get into it. Oh, the size. It measures three, um, it's not three, <laughs> forget that. Uh, seven and three quarters by five inch. And I didn't measure the spine. I think it's probably around two inches maybe. An inch and three quarters, so. Okay, that's just what whatever the box was. So, okay, let's look inside. I put an eyelet uh, panel all the way through the cover. So you have pockets in the front and pockets in the back. And then this is scrapbook paper. And it makes this cover really thick. Okay, in this pocket we have... Um, this is just a tag made out of just different um, colors of book page. I stamped on it and did some... Um, Oh, mark, or what do you call those things? Watercolor pencil on there. And this is just a bunch of different elements. Oh, losing it. Collaged um, on the front of this. And this is one of those type things that folds out. And you just made out of a whole sheet of paper. And you've got all that writing space. So I just put that in the front. Okay, this is a piece of scrapbooking paper. And then I have book pages, mainly. A lot of book pages. Here's another one. This is um, just a hand-stitched um, ruffle. On this side, we have a wallpaper pocket with lace and some washi tape and some uh, different collage elements there. And I've stuck it together with some Velcro. And inside of it is um, a journaling card made out of um, just book page and different collage elements. There's a button there and a fabric flower. Gotta watch the button. There we go. Get it in there. And behind it is a... Um, just a collage tag that's got uh, messy stitching on it, and there's a word and some a lace flower. Right, this is a book page, and on this side is a um, envelope that came from Tracy Fox Creations, and she also this was a freebie, and this was a freebie, and uh, this is meant to be printed on acetate, but I just printed it out just to see, so I made a little journey card out of it. This butterfly is also from her. It's on the same page as this envelope. And let's see, behind it I have, I put the envelope on sideways and made it into like a side tuck. And I have two little tags cut out of like peach colored, um, what do you call that stuff? Scrapbook paper, not scrapbook paper, cardstock. There we go. And this one I noticed is coming up, so I'm just going to glue that down a little bit. Some fabric tack. And it's just um, an image from probably Hobby Lobby, and then um, this is a word printed on fabric. I got that from Robin, and then um, just some scraps, and then a, another little image probably from the same thing at Hobby Lobby. I don't want to put that back in until it dries, so I'm just going to put this one back in. Okay, this is a coloring book page, and on this side, this is vintage fabric, and it was already a quilt um, block. I'm sliding. <laughs> Whoa, I may be sliding way out of... Was I way off? Maybe not too bad. I usually have a thing down, but it's the book gets lost in it. Now that I've opened the book, maybe it won't get so lost. So let me try. So it was the same color as the book, and I didn't want it to get lost. So now maybe that'd keep it from sliding. All right, it was a quilt block, and I just folded it in half and made a pocket out of it. And um, it's just. I'm not sure how old the fabric is, but I don't think it's anything contemporary. Okay, this was in my stash. I'm not sure where it came from. It's just a um, thing with butterflies. I'm putting it behind the pocket. And then in the pocket, I have a master board cut up, and it's got this big flower on there. This may be dry enough. We put it in there now. Okay. Uh, scrapbook paper, and on this side is one of these pockets that... It folds out, and then it folds out, and it folds out, and you have all this writing space, and then you just fold it back, and it becomes two pockets. And I paper clip it to keep it closed, because you don't want to glue it. Um, just a scrapbook, I mean a journal card with, um, it's got napkin on it and that print. 
And then here is a, it's a vintage, you can tell it's probably from the 70s, um, card. Um, so it's, it's a shower, and then I covered up where it says time and date and all that sort of thing. Um, but anyway, put that in there. This is a book page from an Ideal Magazine. And another book page, and another book page. Oh, it's got a fabric tab on there, a tab that I've stitched around. Another book page, and then scrapbook paper in the center, and then this butterfly is in there, and he is from Dollar Tree a couple of years ago. All right, we have a pocket made out of book page and just different elements collaged on it that I've just gotten from, like, old encyclopedias and stuff. This is probably a page from that old encyclopedia that I folded in thirds, and I nipped the corners out like a... Uh, we call it uh, it's a ticket, and I just got scraps on there. And this 3D butterfly that's probably also from Dollar Tree, and this seize the day is from G Kerr. All right, we're on the back side of the signature now, so it's the same pages. We're just seeing the other sides of them, and I just kind of went with the theme of spring on this, plus uh, red, yellow, orangey flowers. This is a thank you card. Thought, I thought would be great just to write on. And this is a bookmark that says, Friends are the flowers in the garden of life. Not sure where I got it, but it was in my stash, so I made a little side tuck out of it. This page had writing on it that I didn't like, so out of that old encyclopedia was just this whole page. I think that's where I got it. It's from an old book for sure. I had flowers around the borders and just different listing, list different, like goldenrod means encouragement, and lilac means nearness, rosemary means remembrance. And then it has the, the months of the year and says which um, flower goes with that month. Like August is either the poppy or the gladiola. So, Okay, flower seed packet. That's a real one. Made it into a tuck. And then this is another thing from uh, Tracy Fox. I had a whole bunch of stuff printed out together, and I just used it. And some lace and some fabric, and it's on a book page. And I put some writing space on the back and stitched around it. And then we are now at the end of the first signature. Second signature, <laughs> signature uh, starts with a greeting card. I just love that image. It's got gladiola down here and the girl swinging. And I have a fabric pocket here. The, um, it's made out of book page and fabric. And I have that little fox on there. And inside of it, this was in my stash. I don't know where it came from. Uh, I think I cut it from something. So <laughs> I know I cut it from something. It's just a collage thing, and it's a printed collage. So I'm not sure where I got that. And then on the back here, I have two things. One, this little lace um, flip-out thing. And it's fabric scraps. And this is from somewhere. I don't remember. I forgot I had those. And it's made to be like a little lace sampler. Um, I found it on Etsy. So I'll try to remember to put it in the description. And this is a 4x6 index card. If I open it. I don't have no fingernails. Ah, just covered in fabric. And folded in half. Stitched around to make a journaling card. This is still slipping around. I think it means my desk is too clean. I need more clutter on it. Keep my book from slipping around. I think I had this going the other way. Let's go try this again. This way and then this way. Okay, make sure that lace gets underneath there. Okay. This may not have been the best pocket to put that in. Okay, there we go. Huh. Okay, I think this is from the Ideal Book again or some other book. This was stationary you could write on scrapbook paper again and I had I got this on a in the junk mail in junk mail it was just an envelope I had that design on it so I cut it out and backed him and made a little tuck out of him this was in my stash not sure where that came from maybe artsology maybe on this page I have a sack or bag made out of book page with napkins on it and I just used my deckle scissors on the top and same thing here uh Decorative stitch. Did I do this? I guess so. I maybe uh, look at all this decorative stitching. <laughs> um, anyway, it goes in here. Uh, the two napkins go great together. All right, we have another coloring sheet and we have another fabric tag. This is part of a doily. It's a heart shaped one. Book page. Book page. A um, fabric envelope that had a lot of writing space, so I just left it. And it's from a Nancy Drew book, so <laughs> you read what Nancy's doing. And back here, I have two 
playing cards put together with fabric and insides covered so you can write on them. So it's like a little booklet made out of playing cards. On this page, it was a calendar. You can kind of see that through. I just put this, it was a sheet of, you know, from a notepad. So I cut it down and glued it on top of the, the calendar page, which this is a calendar page. And on this side of the calendar page, I glued this gigantic envelope there. And it was on garden planning. It was from a book. And inside of it, I stuffed this um, tag that's made out of book page and got wallpaper and it's got some mesh behind it and another probably I don't know if I may have cut that out or not sure another G curd word splendid just a whole bunch of different collage elements there's some maps there and then it's got this uh, raffia as this little topper thing and then behind it and I also put like this is from an old shirt it's just real I was tearing it up and I thought that makes a great little ruffle to put on something. This is a tag made out of like uh, leftovers from a Amazon bubble wrap package thing. So I put it in here. Okay, book page. Here's an envelope that you'll see the flip out in a minute, but the, the oh, you got the flap of it. I just made it into a tuck. So I glued both ends and then I have a fabric covered index card it's just two pieces of fabric and stitched around and on this side the envelope flips out and then inside of it is a uh, old guest check so one of these old ones and just put that in there fits perfect flaps that down and you got all this writing space here's the other side of the signature there's the other side of that heart and some stenciling here. This is a pocket made out of a magazine page. It had all this different um, gardening stuff. So inside of it, I put, this was in my stash. I made it a while back, just a scrap of something. I punched out a butterfly. So I used yellow um, legal pad just to make a couple of pages in there. So that makes a little journaling booklet. And then this was also in my stash. It's just different types of plants I guess so I just put it on there it was like a little reference thing something to look at and then this I'm not sure where I got it from I added the picture of the bird and on the back I instead of covering it with paper I just put some gesso on it so it's, you can write on it just to be different okay third signature it's also a greeting card and I've reinforced both greeting cards you can kind of see there because when I was sewing them in I don't know it's just the way they were flaking a little bit, it was just something I had never really seen. It was like the front had something like two layers and one layer was coming off. So anyway, took care of that, put the hinge thingy on it. Okay, and I just picked it because of the colors. I have another fabric envelope and this one has a tag that matches the paper here. And let's see what else. Behind here we have a Masterboard, which is just masterboard, just a whole bunch of papers collaged and then cut into shapes. Have a washi sticker on it and a label, and you got writing space on the back. And of course, things like this, you can always add a picture or whatever you want to onto them. They're never finished. <laughs> Another hand sewn ruffle, and uh, this side is that shirt again. I took the fabric from the ruffle and the tabs. And this had the buttonholes on there, so I thought it made a fun pocket. So inside is another Tracy Fox image that was made to be run through the... <laughs> been printed on acetate, but I was just doing a press, a um, practice print, so I wasn't going to let it go to waste. This is like some fabric paper stuff. I had it in my scrapbook stash probably for close to 30 years. So finally using it up. Scrapbook paper, a doily, book page. On this book page, it had, I don't know, some pictures, so I just covered it up with another notepad. We have a stamp here. I mean, a stamp. Yeah, a stamp. A faux stamp made into a paper clip. Another tab. Here is one of those um, pockets that was a Roxy's Challenge. That was a paper, uh, book page pocket, and then you put an image on the front that goes higher than the pocket. So the actual pocket is, pocket is right here, and this image sticks way up. And this is a um, greeting card, not greeting card, index card with two fabrics on it and a lace applique. And there's the book page in the center. 
center and then another notepad covering some words it's just not wanted words on this side we have a little bitty pocket it says home sweet home it's got a little fabric cluster there because it was another master board and here is a master board tag that this time it was uh made out of um ads from old magazines and this is the actual thing it's not a copy so these are all the actual ads i had this i'm not sure that might be a uh, home book and treasure is that where I got those I have a die that cuts out the doily and this is like a margin of a book or just the the blanks edges you tear off and I took some embroidery floss and just did a running stitch down it so book page doily coloring book scrapbook paper some more of that fabric paper this page um not sure what it was on the bag but didn't want it so I covered it with a big piece of scrapbook paper that matches the first signature and inside of it is a huge little journaling booklet with writing inside on the back and this is a napkin I stitched around it and this is a book page here's another um, envelope made out of magazine page just fold it up and I can't show you how I fold it because I'll glue down I put inside of it this is um, a small green um, page of legal paper so I just put it in it from a legal pad and this was something I don't know creative express I think it might have been you think it was like a, a thing you know to put it at someone's table setting it says their name on it maybe I'm not sure anyway I fold it it's folded in half or I fold it in half one or the other I put a washi sticker on there and this was in my stash as well. I have a stash of small things to go in journals, so I grab them out. That's where that came from. That's where this came from. This was already printed like that. I just added a washi sticker on there. So anyway, okay, that's that. Back pocket is a fun one. I just took a old uh, page from like a book, like the end papers, and it says discarded from Medill, Oklahoma. <laughs> Uh, Medill City Library. This is, I think it was um, placemats or something that I got that someone had done some absolutely perfect embroidery on there. So it's, I hate to cover it, cut it up, but this way, you know, it's used in a different way. So I just, this is folded in half, that paper, that book page. And um, I put a, that was from an old encyclopedia. We saw a page earlier that had the same sort of print. So that's in there. And then this is a oversized tag made out of uh, paper on the back it's book page paper on the back and then this is a wallpaper border so so that is the end of the book so this will be for sale in my Etsy shop if anyone is interested the link will be below and um, yeah I will try to find where I got that what was it I was gonna look up something oh yeah the lace uh, sample cards I will put that in the description thank you guys for watching bye